Yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you... Howdy folks, welcome back. This is BAC Impulse and I'm bringing you some GTA from my PC. That's correct, managed to get it working. Don't seem to be having the stuttering now and I will tell you exactly how this is happening. But first, just to let you know what my PC settings are. I have a FX6300 CPU. I will be eventually getting a better one, probably going for the 8350 or I may go for the 8370 which is even a better one than the 8350. Uh, I've got a 8 gig Corsair RAM. I would plan to get myself another 8 gig just to match it to make it 16 gig so I can dedicate 8 gigs directly to gra uh, gaming. And I've got a 1 terabyte hard drive, and my graphics card is the R VTX R9 270X 3D Extreme Edition. It's the one which has the two cooling fans, which keeps it, uh, to be honest, keeps it very, very cool. Um, the only problem, it comes slightly overclocked anyway, and I've tried overclocking it, but it doesn't seem to be stable, and I think I know what the problem was, I was trying to, I literally put the power up to 25% consumption extra, while I was trying to do it, instead of just doing the overclock and then slowly, gradually increasing the power consumption to match it, to make it stable, I was, I just maxed the power out straight away. And uh, that, I think, was the slight mistake, so I'm going to have to go back uh, this weekend and try to sort it out. Hopefully, you know, it may work. So let's get back on to the fact that the reason why it's not lagging at all. As you know, with my uh, system, I have a 22-inch TV. It is a full 10, uh, 1080p TV at 60 hertz. However, when it comes to PC, for some reason, it's formatted to only allow you to have 1360 by 768 at 60 hertz. Weird, that, not it? Even if you go through the HMI lead, it recognizes the PC and says, this is all you can have. And I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, you're looking at the first person view, and you can definitely tell us the PC. Uh, it was a little bit, uh, how can we say, disoriented in doing the first person view on GTA. I'm so used to doing the third person view. <laughs> I'll have to get used to that, which means I'll have to play a bit more Hardline, which I'm planning to do this weekend. So, look forward to a video next week of me stinking. Or, probably be my very first, well, probably my second video, it'll be my second video, but probably my first in the series of a Battlefield journey to becoming a better PC player. You know, that's what I'm going to call it, and that's hopefully, you know, you'll watch me become from a new, uh, a novice, noob, whatever it is, to more person who was able to help and bail out the team than I was last time I played. But at the end of the day it was only TDM and I was just trying to get used to the game. But as I said, to get back onto the subject so I seem to be getting off track. Yes, it's not lagging because for some daft reason GTA has been optimized to play in 1080p. So every time you put the game on it automatically switches your monitor to 1080p. I tried to change it back to 1360 by 768 and that's why I was getting my frame distortion lags, bottlenecking, whatever you want to call it, that's why I was getting it. So I swapped it here uh, to 1080p to see what happened and this is what happened. You're getting the gameplay as I said. I decided to record it and I was having no lag issues. As you can see, it's perfectly fine. The only thing that's slightly is when I was looking at the set uh, in the settings, uh, I had it ultimately chooses the settings on what you've got on your PC, like like Battlefield does that as well. And it gave me high, 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 some settings are very high, and some settings normal. I've left the normal ones as normal, left the ones as high, anything that says very high, I've dropped down to high just to make it a little bit more smoother. Yeah, I'm doing a little barrel roll, so I didn't realize what I was doing, I was uh, figuring out which button's the reload button. And I kept pressing the barrel roll button. And look, I've even climbed up now. And I'm thinking, what the hell? And I'm trying to do it in first person. I must admit, it is disorientating doing this in uh, first person. And uh, GTA has always been a third person view game. And it's, it, uh, it will take a little bit interesting. You know, I quite like the fact that uh, I did that because... The first time I did this mission, I had to chase him, and well, first two times, and the first time, I lost him because I crashed. The second time, I managed to hit him off the bike, eventually. 
and I mean eventually. And the third time I decided to do that, and I thought, what happens if I shoot somebody, uh, shoot them before they drive off? And lo and behold, it worked. I stopped him before he got away. <laughs> so, you know, it's absolutely good. I will be doing some more videos on GTA. I, to be honest, I might also try my luck on the online part because I've got the Shark Car, which allows me 1.5 million uh, to spend so I can buy stuff. So that'd be pretty handy. But <laughs> overall, I mean, it is nice to see the, car, the game is working. And, you know, it's absolutely... It's not look look how trans you know fluid and, tra and transition it is. It's absolutely great. I know it's not on max settings, but you know it looks fantastic. And watch this right about now. What in the second there it is. Uh, bang! Hi <laughs> <I> crash. <laughs> oh yeah, me and my crashing. Unbelievable. But overall, I'm enjoying this game. So please. Let me know what you think. Do you think the quality looks absolutely good, you know, the way it is, or do you think I should up the sentence a bit? But at the end of the day, if I do that, I might start getting some lag issues with my CPU. So let me know what you think. And until then, I'll let you watch the rest of this. Enjoy it, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. Take care now, folks. Bye. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! 